I've been a guardian angel for about seven years now, and uh, people think it's easy, but it's a lot of work. You know, you've got an education, it's physically very demanding, um, you know, you've got to be able to uh, stay calm and solve a lot of problems at once. You never know what you're going to be up against during the day. Uh, so, as you know, I, uh, I was demoted for point shaving, and I spent about a year guarding cats. So now I'm in New York City, which is, uh, you know, okay. I figure about another year or so, maybe doing this PSA will get me some time off. And uh, what? Are you kidding me? Closed for special event. What laundromat has a special event? <sighs> all right. Well, I guess you're going to get to watch me carry my laundry bag around all day. Yeah, this sucks. I mean, seriously. So, yeah, basically I go around, I tell people what to do. I'm telling that guy to bet on Thunderbird. And, you know, people ask, you know, what should I do? They ask their intuition, this and that. I tell them things, and half the time they don't listen to me. And it's kind of a pain in the ass. So this guy's got to do his stretches, and this one should bring his wife some flowers. It's, you know, it's like a million little things all day. This guy's trying to figure out what to do for lunch. Thai food. See, this is what I'm saying. And half the time, you know, people don't listen. All right, so we start out at a law firm here because we got a client, Kim. She was doing one of those skydiving things for her birthday, and uh, it made it so that her top came off when she was midair. They took a bunch of pictures and ended up on the Internet. Yeah, it was bad. So Chris here, it's his first day as a lawyer, and he didn't ask her the question I told him to ask, and she doesn't trust him, so she leaves. Yeah, look at him, sitting there, not breathing. Come on, Kim, come back. You got to tell him. The, you got to tell him. You got to tell him the thing. Tell him. Yeah. Okay. See, the guy that owned the thing, he was talking about Girls Gone Wild. It's a whole scam. That's what she doesn't know. Good for her. Yeah, that's how he's going to solve the case. So, yeah, but I'm up here. You know, I'm working on your dreams come true, and you're calling me down for traffic. And where did I put my keys? Where did I put my scrunchie? Where's my shoe? Oh, please. God damn it. It's just annoying. This lady... She spent the morning looking for her keys. So anyway, you know, I got a few people that are good. This is Joe. He's been asking about how can he lose weight. So I told him to eat more fruit. And I gave him a craving for fruit. Yes, have roast beef, lady. And I can pretty much, you know, let him on his own. So here we have Carrie. She's taking a moment of silence, meditation, which is always a good thing because you never know what would come along. She's going to be uh, working on a new nursing program today. And uh, look who's here. Could it be? Could it be the the love of her life standing right there visiting New York he's only here once every six years and she sees him and what are you doing don't no don't go oh come on come on oh yeah see now you should have talked to her I told this is Chris he's from Philadelphia it's where I was before with the point shaving thing they moved me up here anyway he always used to listen so I told his guardian angel I would help out and here he is look see I mean now it's gonna be another six years of course she's gone. Oh, and by the way, the dog's toy is under the bed. Yeah, thank you. I mean, look at him. He's so sweet. He normally follows everything. I mean, come on. This is just like, this is so out of character for him. Usually he's, I don't know what, he did, didn't get enough coffee this morning or something. All right, Joe, there you go. See, banana, fantastic. And wait, what do you, no, no, no. Yep, that's how you get to one, two, three. Say it with me. Diabetes. I mean, what's the point of asking me if you're not going to listen? Oh, and then fun for me, he eats them in the john. So this is Shanna giving her a new business idea. A lot of times I work when people are walking because they're not thinking about other stuff, especially if they're not listening to music. It's pretty cool. Ah. Have you ever been in that situation where you find yourself saying something and you're even saying out loud, I shouldn't be saying this. I really shouldn't be saying this. You know what? You're right. You really shouldn't be saying this and saying this and saying this and saying this. Hello. She's telling her the whole story. She didn't tell her lawyer, but she's telling this lady that she doesn't even know. You're going to regret this. I told you not to do this. She's even saying, I'm not supposed to be doing this. You know what the worst, though, is? People who are like, oh, God, what? Oh, God, what? I do not need to watch you having sex. I mean, people, please, if you need God, ask for something normal. All right. So, Nate, remember I told you? Nail salon? Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to... 
Awkward Business Lunch. That's right, Kim is the vendor that Carrie is meeting with about her nursing program. Oh, won't this be fun? <laughs> I can't wait to see it. <laughs> That'll teach her not to listen. <laughs> no, it won't. So here comes Rachel, and guess what she wants to do? Be a nurse. Ha! Ah, a nursing program. See, if she would just stop for a minute and pause and tell them, but no, she won't. She's too busy. And here's Shanna with her new business idea, talking to the lawyer who specializes in small businesses. That's what he really wants to do. And yeah, they kind of flirt. If she would tell them about her business idea, they would get together, but she's not going to because no one listens in New York. Please, people. And here's Joe. Joe's toilet backed up this morning for the 48th time, and he's going to the hardware store to get some supplies because he can fix it himself. But no, he's deciding if he should call the plumber. And yes, I told that man to get the rosé. It was only 8 bucks. It's actually better than the $15 one. See, this is how you decide, your intuition. And no, he's not going to go with the plumber. Yep, the plumber's going to give him a $500 bill. Oh, well. So now we're back to Rachel and Shanna. Now, see, Rachel, again, she is getting ready for her interview for nursing school. Not the most appropriate outfit, but what you have to understand with Rachel is she was the slutty girl in high school who went on to be a pole dancer. What she's wearing now, her Aunt Linda Center from Minneapolis. So Shanna's idea is to do what? That's right. Figure out how to help girls get self-esteem with clothing. Because when you put on a new outfit, you feel like a new person. Rachel here doesn't have the common sense God gave a donut when it comes to dressing. And Shanna... Yep, there you go. She's going to do it. She's going to do it. See, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Perfect. It's perfect. She sees herself as a nurse. She sees herself having a happy life. Then she sees herself having an affair with a doctor, and she decides, no, I don't deserve this. This is terrible. It's going to be a horrible life. And Shanna's like, no, come on. Look, look, see, that, that would be perfect. That dress, honestly, would transform Rachel's life if only she would wear it. Somebody doesn't listen to me. Okay, I got to go. Come on, kids. Oh, geez, Louise. I give you this intuition for a reason. You know what would be a good idea? Follow it. It's take your umbrella. No, I don't need my umbrella. It's sunny outside. Hello. Oh. I forgot about this lady, yeah. She needs to get laid, which she's not going to do because she stays at home all day eating popcorn and watching Game of Thrones. So I keep telling her, get a cat. Get a cat. Come on. You're not going to wear that. All she ever wears is black. She never goes out. This is the most she's been out in a week. Just get a cat already. All right, where'd she go? Rachel, come on, where'd you go? Oh, no, she's back in the store, isn't she? Yeah, now she's got that money burning a hole in her pocket. You know that feeling when you just feel like you have to spend? That's self-destructive, kids. Don't listen to that. Come on, go get the dress. Go get the dress. Go get the dress. She's looking for it. She can't find it. And she is deciding to spend the money for her nursing application on the first thing she sees. Welcome to the trophy of low self-esteem. Ah, Joe, you make my heart sing. See, the thing is, he had to lock his dog up in the crate because of the backed-up toilet, so he's going to have a little surprise for her and bring home all the toys. She loves tearing up all these plush toys, but he doesn't realize is the neighbor lady downstairs that keeps wanting to come by and play with the dog could be the love of his life, but he never wants to let her in because he's afraid his apartment's too messy. <sighs> Look at that. So sweet. Come on, Joe. And here's our lawyer, again with the walking, and he is just about to get the idea for how to win the case. I'm good. I know it. Ah, look at Carrie. She's gloating because, of course, she had major leverage in that meeting. <laughs> she got such a great deal. And yes, I know. There's Chris. See, it would have been another six years, but through the magic of angel engineering, we've made this little scenario work out. See, this is the thing. So I was telling you about problem solving. All right, I may not be, you know, the most together person, but come on, look at these two. See, this is why, this is why I got into this business. This is why I picked this job. And no, we don't get wings. That's for special occasions and, you know, parades and stuff like that. The rest of us just look like ordinary people. See, this is beauty. And she's open to it because she had such a great day. Normally she'd be a little afraid of strangers, but because she was feeling good already, boom, 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 boom. True love, true love, true love, true love, true love. Yeah. Damn, I'm good. Oh, I'm telling you, I should get at least six months off for this. I am so good. I am so good. Maybe six months, maybe a year. Maybe I'll be done with New York next week. Oh, yeah. Ow. Ow. 
ow, ow. God damn it. What? Just because I said, God damn it, they're putting me another year? Are you kidding me? Another year in New York with these people who don't listen to me? Oh, I hate my life.